Hey guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial of uh, post commentary with Feisty Riker. Right um, in this video, I want to talk about just responsible gameplay. So first I start off, I thought the Haiichi was going for the side beacon, so I'm going to try to either press press center or uh, pressing on the right. Like I noticed that uh, there's a shot train to the far right, so I'm going to try to just put some pressure on him that was that's that was my plan at the moment see like he's not taking their home beacon and this is beacon rush you never want to have your your beacon white on Kenya map like that Bogosori he should be the one that's taking the beacon because he has a physical shield and he has actual uh, like decent range so like but instead what he does is he sits behind cover just shoots shot trains however look at our kumiho doing a great job pushing that beacon so we got that b4 cap and then it's pretty much game over at this point once again i cannot stress enough how important it is to have your home beacon on this map like once the other team gets a four cap you on beacon rush it's they can just keep hammering it with the new boss that's the respawning boss and before you could take it back it's game over like the Bulgasaurid was like just being a lousy teammate like just now because like he's the he's the one going left and like just suck it up for a bit and take like use your shields to block whatever damage that's coming and then you can respawn defend that beacon here look at the the specter shot train he's like still retreating when like their team des will desperately needs a beacon Just, like if i'm on the red team i would hate that like Look, he's at the edge of the map already. Like, that's just being very, very irresponsible, and he's not doing anything. He look at he he just hit the pillar just now. And here's a trick for fighting Ancelots with Bogosari Tehran. So use your shield to block his shots, and once you get close enough, just dash right into him. Get like up close and personal, so you your top two Tehran's will pop over, will be like like shooting down through his shield that way you don't have to get through his physical and then you can just do damage straight away anyways that's the end it's pretty much the end of this game and hope you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so until the next time I'll catch you guys later